What is Layla and Majnun? It's the Persian and Arabic version of the Romeo and Juliet story. It's a story that is timeless and speaks to the human drama. Girl meets boy, parents don't approve. This version of Layla and Majnun, I consider a, a danced opera. Dancing marks work. You always know it's going to be touching in, in maybe a way that you didn't envision when you walked into the theater. There's a lot to look at. It's not just a dance performance. There's all the musicians and there's the backdrop, the costumes. There's something for everybody. When this piece was written, it was in 1908. The composer, Uzeir Haji Bayli, was only 23, and it was literally his first composition that he created. I think he was, you know, hearing both Western opera, Italian verismo, and... Uh, it was a huge success. We fast forward 100 years to the Silk Road Ensemble. <laughs> 10 years ago, Alim Kasimov came to Yoyo with the idea of creating a Silk Road Ensemble version of Layla and Majnun. Over the course of about two and a half or three years, we tried to distill it to the most essential parts of the story. The Silk Road Ensemble arranged that opera into a 55-minute piece. This piece features a style that's called Mugam, which is, you might consider it the classical music of Azerbaijan. Mark Morris, he fell in love with the music, and he decided to create a magnificent choreography for his dance group. I decided that I would take it over because I produce it. It's not just adding steps to it, it is redoing the whole production. So, you know, set design, lighting design, costumes, staging, because I wanted all the musicians on stage and all the dancers on stage, which is already a lot of people. Mark is such a special artist. When he's curious about something, he actually has to live with it, internalize it, turn it into something that becomes uh, totally his voice. I've been working on the piece with the designers, Howard Hodgkin, the visual designer who did the set and the costume ideas. I would call this a fully staged production of this very important piece of Azerbaijani culture. I, of course, did a lot of homework and studied folk dancing, traditional dancing, and concert dancing from Azerbaijan and from Georgia and Armenia and Iran or Persia. I'm very interested in that music and dancing. This collaboration of Yo-Yo Ma and Mark Morris, who of course have collaborated many times over the years, it's beautiful to see these worlds come together now under Mark's particular vision. For us, it's a, an amazing thing to be able to dance to music like that. Like, we don't understand the language, really. We don't dance improv, but the Mugams are improv. So that for us is a challenge to figure out how long is it gonna be, how short is it gonna be. We're very used to as a company working very closely with the music, but this is beyond anything we've ever done before. But for the audience member, I think they're just gonna see how stunningly beautiful it is. <laughs> It's a story that is timeless and speaks to the human drama and is told through one of the luminous voices of our age, Alim Kasimov. With one of the greatest choreographers of our time, Mark Morris. And a band, the Silk Road Ensemble, of some of the most amazing instrumentalists from 
around the world in different cultures. This is, to me, a marriage made in heaven. Thank you.